Um, we like to always have videos. Mm -hmm. so, hey, y'all. Welcome to a special live edition of KLEK 102.5 of them. I'm your host, Kabila Jones. This is not community conversation. This is a Kwanzaa live chat with the fabulous Foxy, Letitia Fox Rochelle. How you doing? Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> How are y'all doing today? I am so happy you joined me today. So as everyone know, this is the week of Kwanzaa. And unfortunately, we weren't able to do an in-person celebration. And you are usually our vendor, a paparazzi vendor for our event. So what better way to still celebrate you and still showcase your fabulous jury and have a little meaningful chit chat um, than to do a live session. Now, people, you can still get your purchases on. Look, this is not an excuse to not get your jewelry, okay? Um, I'm rocking a fabulous piece. I don't know exactly who this came from. I got a bunch of deal. I'll call y'all dealers. Y'all my pushers. <laughs> you sound like Marsha. Marsha says the same thing. <laughs> but you know, this jewelry almost sells itself. Who doesn't love fabulous jewelry? Pieces that go with anything. And we'll definitely get into that. Pieces that can go with almost anything, but... I want to first start out with you giving us an introduction of who you are, you know. Okay. Who is Leticia? <laughs> who is Leticia? Well, first of all, let me tell you, thank you so much for giving me that, uh, this opportunity to come and um, chat with you tonight. I really, really, truly appreciate it. And I'm thankful for all of the support um, from you guys. You all are awesome. We appreciate this platform of being able to express ourselves and to get uh, get Kwanzaa awareness out there, okay? This is a very great principle um, that we're talking about tonight. And what better way for us to celebrate? If we don't celebrate ourselves, who will? You yes. know, so we, it's a, a really good platform to get people informed. So um, who is Leticia? <laughs> um, I'm just an ordinary country girl. Um, I'm from right down the road, a rural area, small town. Um, Earl, Arkansas. Okay. Everything that comes out of Earl is fabulous. Okay, we we are great. We are great people. So I'm I'm thankful for that. Um, I was born Army brat in um, Fort Smith, Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Uh, raised in Earl, Arkansas, with my people. Shout out to my town. Um, right. And I'm just I'm just a hometown girl. I'm just all around. What you see is what you get. I'm gonna be the same, okay? So I'm, I'm, I'm just me. And I'm gonna say anybody who hasn't met you, they're missing a treat. You're just really kind and bubbly, and you know, um, it's like you don't meet a stranger. <laughs> you know, everyone. I don't. Know. <laughs> I don't. Thank you. Thank you. It's, you know, I want to be personable. I want people to uh, feel like that they can talk to me. Um, I want to be friendly. Um, I know I may not be everyone's friend or everyone's first pick, but at least you know that uh, you can relate to me, that you can have a, a genuine conversation, and I'm going to be the same that I was, you know, last year into the new year. Alrighty, so I want to get into our topic. Um, for those of you who have been following the KLEK page, this year's Kwanzaa theme is Bridging the Generational Gap. And the message, well, the principle for today is Ujama, which means cooperative economics. And, you know, we hear these statistics about Black people have all of this spending power, but where's our money? Why do we not have more Black-owned businesses successful booming big box you know corporate black owned businesses you know we have to start putting our money where our mouth is um and so the message theme for today um we had posted a message earlier by mr tremont taylor from iota phi theta and the message theme was buying back the block making the dream a reality again I did some research on Black Wall Street in Rosewood, and there are a few other towns in history, in our history, um, but those were booming Black communities. And it's like, why can't we get back there? It's not about segregating ourselves. It's just about building something for ourselves by us. You know, back to that old FUBU. FUBU, I was going to say that. Yes, FUBU. <laughs> if y'all, if anybody from FUBU listening, we need a sponsorship. But anyway, no. <laughs> But, you know, um, 
in the story of uh, Black Wall Street, and you can find this information on history.com and many other sites, but there was a, a gentleman who was one of the first wealthy Black men to go to the, the city uh, in Tulsa, Oklahoma, or Greenwood rather, and he had this you know, vision, this idea of, I want to help build something for Black people by Black people, and I would love to see us get back to that mindset. So we're going to talk all about bridging the generational gap, and then buying back the block and leaving legacies because you are a mother, you're a wife, you're a business owner. And so let's talk about what does that mean to you when you look at your children and you say, okay, what can I do to leave something for them? How can I bridge the gap and share my knowledge and information with them? Well, um, looking looking back as uh, growing up, you know, in a small town and uh, my parents just instilling values in me, they talked about, you know, making sure you save a dollar uh, when you earn a dollar and opening up a bank account and a savings account, you know, checking and savings account and making sure that you are balancing your checkbook. But they didn't talk about credit as much as, you know, that we need to know as being young minorities. Um, we need to know about credit, you know, don't overdraw, but what happens when you do overdraw? You know, what happens when you're saying don't get a credit card, but how am I able to manage this credit card? I think that we need to, you know, start there while they're young, especially in high school, because the, I opened my first bank account when I was in high school. I started working at the age of 14. And so it's very, very important that we teach them the steps about bank account, about credit, about overdraft. So when you do get in college, you won't be in debt, you know, so quickly. <laughs> okay, because when I got that first credit card, there you go. It and back then it was a credit card given from um, the Who's Who uh, Amer among American college students, like if you had. GPA, they um, offered you a credit card and it was $500. And uh, being a freshman, you know, $500, girl, <laughs> I price wipe and just ran a bill up, you know, for no reason. And so you need to know the vital information about, you know, the cause and effect when you do this you know, these fees come and if you don't pay at a certain time, it's going to go up and, you know, going over your limit is going to make, you know, or break your credit, you know, because that's really what, how do you manage that, that credit that that's given to you, okay? And so I think um, if we would have more information um, early on to the people, the kids that's coming um, after us, that would definitely help. Uh, because the generational gap, it's real. It's real out here. You know, we're, we're still, um, you know, and I'm talking about me, you know, other people may be going through it too, but we're still, you know, rebuilding your credit and trying to get where you want to be, you know, and if we start early, maybe our kids and their kids won't have to, you know, go through that. But, you know, thank God for the credit management classes and, uh, you know, personnel that's out there that's helping people rebuild and, you know, our Black realtors that's helping us buy homes and things, you know. So uh, we definitely can intervene, I think, on an early level to help build that, that, that bridge. Okay, I want to give a shout out to a few people that are watching. I can't see everybody, but Bethany Hill uh, says, hey, ladies, and for Tiffany Mosley, Patricia Smith, uh, Sheena Faye, thank you all for checking in. Share this video because we are going to get to some jury. We just want to get some of these conversational pieces out of the way um, so that people understand why it's important to, one, manage your own money, why it's important to share your knowledge, and let's help reach and grab those younger people. Um, I see young people do a lot of flexing now, and I'm not hating on y'all. If you got the money, you got the dollars, do you, okay? <laughs> but, they are, but they are flexing hard, and they're buying these brands who don't in turn support our communities. And so I'm not gonna call names, that ain't, that's not me, but um, 
we need to start circulating that money back in our own uh, communities. We have very talented people who are, like you said, real estate developers. Right now, I am learning the stock markets. So we have people that are trying to educate you on how to learn the stock markets, buy, sell, trade, whatever, so that you can increase your income that way, have another stream. We have people who are trying to teach, you know, about uh, marketing, um, building a business, period. So there are so many people within our own networks that we can rely on. And we need to keep our money circulating. Again, I'm not gonna make this too political and racial, but there are other groups of people who share their knowledge from within why can't we do the same? Really? Exactly. We need to exactly. tighten that gap. We don't need to be 40 and 50 and say, well, you get it the best way you can. Mm -hmm. We should learn, like you were saying, how you weren't taught certain things. Me growing up, my family could only give me the knowledge they had. And they didn't teach me about savings, but like I said, credit cards, um, mm -hmm. 401k, stock options. None of that was with us. So here I am. Oh, 40. <laughs> and <laughs> you know, over a certain age and I'm still finding my way. So anyway, but um, so let's go ahead and get into some pieces. Um, let's and let's, while you're doing that, talk about what made you decide to get into paparazzi. Oh, honey. <laughs> We're talking about the generational gap. So what drew me to paparazzi is that um at the time we needed some extra income to pay for daycare um, because our son's birthday is late. So he was going to have to turn around and go to daycare for another year because okay. we're working, working parents. So, you know, we can't take off or be at home um, to uh, get him from school. So that's when my coworker introduced me into paparazzi and she's saying, you know, you're buying from me and, um, you know, you're a fashionable person and you like jewelry, so why not, you know, make a profit off of it and help yourself and help others too? Because a lot of times, you know, we're in the workplace and we can't, um, you know, buy all the high price and jewelry. Mm -hmm. you know? And paparazzi, honey, looks better than some of the jewelry that, that's costing, you know, $50 and up. You wouldn't know the difference if, you know, unless somebody yeah. said something. And so I gave it a try. Um, and of course, you know, you have your warm market and you have your cold market. And so we started out with the warm market. In my case, I had the hot market because okay. I was surrounded by people that love jewelry as well, like myself. And so when your hot market get a little warm, then you branch out to your cold market and you start, you know, telling strangers about your jewelry. Like you said, I don't meet, I don't meet a stranger, honey. I can, I can strike up a conversation with anybody about anything. Okay. So yeah. that's what I did. You know, I was just saying that if it's good enough for me, it may help someone else. And so I didn't start off with building a team, but, you know, just telling people, family members, close friends, their friends, you know, and telling them about the business as well, that it could help them and everything was fashionable. Uh, and who don't want $5 jewelry, okay? Well, it's you get you a two for two and get you a, a necklace. Okay. Look, it is fashion forward. You know, and I have a lot of pieces I'm not ashamed to say. I have a mm -hmm. lot of pieces. <laughs> and mainly necklaces. I love the chunkier, tribal, you know, ethnic looking pieces. But I, I do like the colored pieces too. Um, mm -hmm. I must say it's, you know, there's something for everybody. Um, it is. You have smaller pieces. You have big chunky pieces. I have some three strand pieces. So, I mean, it's. We cater to everyone. And here's the thing. I know there is a lot of consultants that's in, you know, in our area. That's mm -hmm. in Jonesboro. Okay. We're not in competition. That's one thing about the company. We are a sister and brotherhood. We support each other. If I, if you wanted something and I didn't have the piece, I would call on one of my teammates or a close papa, a, a papa sister, papa brother, and ask them, hey, do you have this? Was Q needing this item? And I want her to have it. You know, it's not all about the $5 or the $25. It's about you leaving satisfied. And if I don't have it, you know I'm going to find something simple. 
Yes, ma'am. Or, or it might be them. You know, you just never know. Most definitely. <laughs> so, you know, we, we, honey, we are out here just making sure that everyone is happy and satisfied and looking good. You can ball on a budget. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Ball on a budget. <laughs> All right. So while you're getting ready to show that piece, I want to put your cash app uh, name in or however you take payments. So when people see okay. something they want, they can go in and snatch it up. <laughs> okay. Yes, because you you know on the on my lives we have a little competition sometimes. People be like, ah, I said so first, but I got enough to, to go around though. But my cash app is a uh, dollar sign um L E T I C I A F X. Okay. L E T mm-hmm. I C I A. Okay. F O X. All right. That's simple. And if uh-huh. you don't have Cash App, I do uh, have Zelle. And I also can send you an invoice um, through your email. So if they wanted to inbox me their email, um, just different ways, I believe, okay. in being safe and having options because everyone does not deal in you know, Cash App or PayPal. I do have some uh, old fashioned customers. Okay. They, you know, they're like, oh, baby, I'm going to have to swipe for this or I'm going to have to write a check or okay. for money order. Okay. It's not about, you know, trustworthy. Everybody don't get that now because, you know, we don't know everybody. But I do have options out there for, uh, for customers. All right. This first piece, since we are talking about Kwanzaa, this is a wood pink piece. Um, it does hang long. All of our ear our, uh, necklaces come with matching earrings. So you get a complete set for $5. And this pink one also comes in red. Let's see. Look. <laughs> or red. And we are going to give a number. All right. Number 30. So if okay. you put number 30, anyone could say 30 in pink or 30 in red. All right. <laughs> 30 in pink or 30 in red. But y'all better snatch these up because um they won't last long. I promise you. <laughs> <laughs> they won't, they won't. I pulled some um some wood pieces because lately I've been getting uh inquiries about wood pieces. Now this one is a one and done. This is a brown wood earring. Why do they call it my name? <laughs> they call it my name. I'm a wooden Afrocentric earring lover. <laughs> I already know. <laughs> and this one is number fifty. All right, number. 50. All right, girl. So when you see something you like, you better either put it in the live chat or you better hit up a messenger or something and snag those earrings or necklaces <laughs> and there's also things for men you know so yes we have unisex bracelets these are the beaded bracelets and it's stretchy okay and we also have inspirational i don't know if you can see this but oh. I do have two of these available it says blessed those are pretty. Wow. Hey, it says blessing. Those, they're $5 too. Those are pretty. Wow. Now, I don't typically bring out the Z's and this, unless it's a Z live. So if you would like a Z, just request it because we're talking about $5 tonight. All righty. <laughs> I know it's the end of the, <clears throat> I know it's the end of the month, but you know, there's still birthdays coming up January, February, March, whatever. Start getting gifts early. Mm-hmm. Um, my birthday's in February, y'all. So <laughs> anybody. <laughs> and, and Valentine's Day. Um, I do have uh, customers that buy from me for Valentine's Day. Um, sometimes they want me to uh, deliver it. I have little kids jewelry. Um, I have like little ne- nice decorative bags, packaging, um, gift wrap for you if you wow. need, need that. So you know, I'm all about the presentation. Wow. And so, you know, as you're working your business, what does it say to your, what do you think it says to your children to see mommy working 
you know, so hard and is trying to really build something for you and them as well? Um, well, I would say for KJ, because he's seen the, the day-to-day, um, you know, day-to-day action and uh, Carissa as well. And, you know, when boxes come in, you know, he's with, mom, you got a box today, you got mail. Um, he's, you know, it's like Christmas, you know, just opening boxes and packaging. And then also uh, my bonus daughter, she has started her own uh, cookie business. So I'm definitely, definitely proud of her. She will be uh, launching um, in January. Okay. And so she, I told her when she come back, she's going to have to kind of do some vending. And, uh, you know, if we have to deliver from the house, but she can make any type of cookie. My favorite are her strawberry cookies and her chocolate chip cookies. But, you know, just being an example um, for our kids, I am a first generational college uh, grad. And so I want to instill that in my kids as well, that you can come from a small town, honey, and you can make it to the top. You can be anything that you want to be. You have to believe in yourself. And then when you have the support of people, oh, that just give you an extra push. And things that, you know, us, we need to support each other. That's how we get the money back circulating. Yes, ma'am. We're in each other. We're not in competition. That's, and I wish we would get out of that mindset of this person is doing better than me. No, they have a different skill set than you. Um, this is one example I look at. Like Tyler Perry, he's built a whole studio, like a whole, whole studio, <laughs> just everything. <laughs> and he has different people that are working on his team, writers, directors, film crew, actors, everywhere from top to bottom. There's someone who may be just answering phones. If that's your skill, that's your ministry, do that. Mm-hmm. You know, you're still a part of the team. You're helping mm-hmm. to build this dream, going back to buying back the block wherever you are good at whatever you're good at doing do that <laughs> and like mm-hmm. you said without a competition I like sitting behind a computer I like talking on the phone I don't have to be out front mm-hmm. so I'm happy in a cubicle on the phone or sending emails let me do that <laughs> and so. you're just as vital as the person that's you know out in the forefront everybody plays their own part and working together to make the team you know function so- yes if you if you wasn't where you were doing what you was doing there would be a void yes so you know everybody's important and so that's a good thing to value that everyone works together as a team um also you know with my organization um that's a a a target that we have building economic legacy Um, due to covid this year we wasn't able to do our economic uh workshop um, where we would bring financial uh, advisors in and talk about um real estate and building your credit and things like that but um, in January, you know, for our Founders Day, you, you guys are going to bring us back. And so um, Yvette Allen Moore, she's going to talk more and more about the programs that we have coming up um, for 2021. And Building Economic Legacy is going to be a, a workshop that we're going to present for the community. And it's all free. Well, and in case you all have seen the flyer, and if you see what color she got, I'll go tell what, what organization. <laughs> Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated, <laughs> Kappa New Omega Chapter here in Jonesboro, Arkansas. And we at Kelly K have to say thank you because Kappa New Omega is a strong supporter, a dedicated supporter of Kelly K. Anytime we ask anything of you all, somebody's going to say, okay, yeah, I'll be there. I'll do that, whatever the case. So thank you all for your support. And all the we way. want to support it in any way that we can because we, we truly appreciate you guys. You are definitely filling a void that um, has been for many years. And I'm just grateful that, you know, Laganzi had a vision and his vision came to fruition. Yes. And I'm happy that I'm a part of this vision that, you know, God saw fit to put me here. I used to say I never saw myself in radio or media, but now I'm trying to adjust my mindset and my speech pattern and say, God prepared me for this. Mm-hmm. God saw me here. So here I am. <laughs> here I am. <laughs> right. 
as we as we say, won't he do it? <laughs> <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yes, yeah. All right. So I know you got some more fabulous pieces that you can show. Yes, I do. I do. I do. <laughs> I got this board ready for y'all in case you saw. You know how you like long pieces, short pieces. Mm -hmm. One of the pieces that I'm wearing tonight, you wouldn't think that this is paparazzi, but it is. And it's also five dollars, as you can see, comes with the mm -hmm. put on the jewelry bus. You can see. That wow, out. that's pretty. <laughs> and this that is, is gorgeous. So if you want it longer than this, it is capable of being longer. We have okay. three available. Three available, and this one is number 80. All right. Number so. 80. If you want a black wood piece. And since we are still in the season, it's not Christmas, but we still have the red piece. And as you can see, Ooh. it has a crackle stones in here this is definitely wakanda forever piece okay I that one it's gorgeous <laughs> it's gorgeous and this one is number 90. and what i want to say to everybody these pieces are not as heavy as they look like this one is metal but it's not that heavy like it's really comfortable to wear um there are some heavier pieces but they're still they're comfortable to wear, uh, they, mm -hmm. they don't turn. And so I'm really happy about that. They don't tarnish, you know, so you don't have to worry about if you sweat a lot or whatever the case, um, they're durable. They are they are durable. <laughs> and Ooh, some people gorgeous. are uh, allergic, um, but all, everything is lead and nickel free. Okay. Everything is nickel free. Ooh, yeah, I, I like to buy the variety. You know, you may want it in multiple colors. So yeah. Yeah. this one would be 91, number 91. All right, so turquoise. And turquoise is one of those stones, I guess you say, that's very versatile. You can wear with anything. Yes, almost I was anything. not into turquoise until I became a consultant. I, I wouldn't have worn this. <laughs> Ooh, super cute. And then we just have all type of oh my goodness pieces. No, that is gorgeous. Material, very thin, very light, fun and sassy, and the earrings match. Look, that would look so nice with a, a t-shirt with some jeans and some cute shoes. Mm -hmm. like, the possibilities are endless. <laughs> yes. Wear this in the winter or in the spring. And that one is number two. It has a little hint. I don't know if you can see of turquoise, little specks of turquoise in it. That is gorgeous. This is the only one available. This one's 92. So ladies or gentlemen, um, you see something you like for yourself, a friend, you know, family member, pick something up. This is how you can give back and keep the money flowing in our communities by supporting a black owned business. Oh, that one's pretty. Yeah, I have a few of these available. These are in the six. Okay. And it's adjustable. So if you wanted to let it hang a little longer, you could. Okay. Times uh, some of my men items, like, well, my neck is. It's larger and I can't fit that. And I'm like, yes, you can. Because okay. it'll, it'll come down longer. That's nice. And that's 93. A lot of times, like I say on my live, if you uh you don't see it, doesn't mean I don't have it. I always send me a request and let me know what you're looking for. Or you can send me the outfit. And I can match okay. it. This is kind of like a look. Gorgeous. You have your orange and your brown. That is really pretty. Wow. 
kind of glossy. I have two of these available. Okay. It's 94. So if you like that one, I'm at 94. For those of you who like those darker fall light colors um, and don't want to be too bright, that's a really pretty color. <laughs> Now, earrings, I have all type of earrings. I have the studs. I have these funky gourmet earrings. Check those out. And I have these in green as well. Two of these available, number 95. I mean, so number 95, if you want those. These are a little different. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> I need them. Yes, these are a little different. This is the last one. This okay, put so on that one. Put, yeah, I got to get Okay. That. I was <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I was set that to the side for you. <laughs> And I want to show you yeah. our kids' jewelry. Now, these are the studs that I was talking oh, about. Those are pretty. Yeah, they're kind of like iridescent. They have reflection off of what you're wearing. So for those young girls or the ladies who don't like, you know, bigger, mm -hmm. this looks a little something cute. Yeah. <laughs> 97. I do have them uh, in gold diamond and the silver diamond too. Okay. If they don't want the iridescent. And then a little kid's jewelry. Oh, how cute is that? <laughs> yes. I have all blue, all pink, or if you're wanting all purple. Okay. Pearls, but they're stretchy. All my little kids' bracelets, they're a dollar. Oh, wow. We know those mothers with daughters, especially little ones like six, seven, they want to look cute too. They want to dress up and match their outfit. You know, we're in this space and time where the kids are just, you know, they're on their school break. They were zoomed out if they had to do virtual learning mm -hmm. or they had to readjust to being back in school, distancing themselves, and they can use a cute little pick me up. So, yeah, I've seen a little, uh, quite a few of those during Christmas holiday. Oh. You know, little cute little stocking stuffers. This oh thing right here, this is purple. Oh. It has the matching bracelet. That is gorgeous. <laughs> okay. This is five each, so this will be a $10 set. And this one is 98. Number 98. That is gorgeous. Do we have um, requests in the chat box? So far, no. People are just watching. We want to thank everybody that is watching. Um, <laughs> look, you need to go and get these requests in. Um, these people will not last long. I promise you, they will. Um, I usually, to go ahead. No, I was gonna say usually no, no. time they watch the replay. And okay. Well. Well, this video will be available on the KLEK uh, Facebook page. And it's Laganzi has shared it. Shout out to our station manager. He has shared it some of everywhere. Um, but I'm going to definitely share it on my page as well. And there he is. Hey, would you like to say, if, well, he popped out. <laughs> you working hard. Um, yeah, just sitting here doing some work. Just want to say thank you to Kabila and Letitia for putting this event on. And just thank all, as always, thank every listener and supporter of KLK 12.5 FM. And of course, just stay tuned. Originally, we were going to do an auction tonight. Uh, we, we postponed that, but we got some uh, nice things coming up. I think you're gonna like, uh, we got some African attire that we'll be auctioning off of within the near future. Stay tuned for details. We definitely want to thank our very own Reverend Dr. Greg Ota for the donation of those outfits. And of course, Letitia's gonna hook up the accessories. So. Gonna have you looking good, especially going into Black History Month in yes. February. Um, also, shout out to Pino's Palette who donated some nice artwork. So, gonna have some good things coming up in 2021. And of course, at the strike of midnight 
January 1st, Kaylee K will turn six years old. So <laughs> six years of Jonesboro's community radio session. We could not have done it without each and every one of you, you, and even trying to find my little, there, right there. You right there. <laughs> Couldn't have done it without you that's watching this video right now. So um, just thank you. And of course, uh, check out all the nice pieces that um, Letitia is offering up for sale. I, I am one of her customers, so I do support because we support those that support us. So check out what they have to offer. So I'm going to get back to work and, and let these ladies take it away. All righty. So as we get ready to wrap up, I want to ask your thoughts on, well, first you, first before that, you mentioned there are men now that are independent consultants. Let's mm -hmm. talk about how this business is gender neutral. <laughs> okay. Um, it's basically um, anyone can, can sell uh, the jewelry 18 and older. Okay. Um, and you just you sign up we have different kits our first kit is $99 um it comes with 35 pieces of jewelry and a profit is 175 um, plus tax on it and then next up we have our uh, small home kit um it's 200 and then we have a larger um kit that's 499 and it comes with Bukus of jewelry, um, also a conference ticket, which we have training. You know, it's just not all about, you know, just selling the jewelry, but we also train us on how to market the jewelry, um, how to uh, match different styles um, up with the jewelry because we have different trend blends. We stay in tune with what's popping, you know, currently. And so it's awesome. We usually um, have our conference um, in July in Vegas, but due to COVID, we had a virtual conference this year. But we still, you know, network and have a great time. Um, we're spread out all over the U.S. So that is so awesome. And so if you are into anyone is interested, please reach out to Leticia. Um, her, well, no, it was not on here. Um, please reach out to her, Leticia Fox Rochelle, Fox's Fabulous, Fabulous Accessories on Facebook. Do you have a Facebook page? I do have a, a, a business page. It's Fox's Fabulous Accessories. And my website is foxyscanbe.com. Okay, so please reach out. Um, and so we want to thank everyone for watching, for tuning in. And I would just love you to give a few more, love for you to give a few more thoughts on, you know, what does it mean to really help buy back the block, bridging the generational gap, and this cooperative economics, spreading our money around within our community. Any thoughts you'd like to share on that? It leads to longevity. Um, of us and building up uh, confidence, uh, building up our different brands, breaking generational curses. Um, I think that it is a necessity. It's a must that we buy back the block and that we show that we are supposed to be here. We are, you know, God didn't create us to be average. Mm -hmm. um, my son say we we taking over honey we are going to be more than average in 2021 so it's time to wake up shake up and get moving i know that's right yes i do a lot of reading um and so i run across articles that talk about different areas that were once heavily black populated um in harlem as we know a lot of great mu music and actresses and poets and different things people like that came mm -hmm. out of Harlem, but now the neighborhood has been gentrified so much that there, there are no real remnants of what Harlem used to be, you know, and I do understand life happens, money changes, people get older, they die, they move, whatever the case, but I would love to see again those little pockets of neighborhoods that were once resemblance of us get back to their former glory whatever that looks like, but it takes us that are leaders in our communities to reach out to these younger people and say, look, this is what was, and this is what can still be. We need to, some kids have this, oh, that's old fashioned, that's old, but we need to teach them yes. 
He's in the history and the heritage of our culture. We and have to, because if we, if we don't, they won't know it. You know, they're not getting some of the information that we received when we were in school. You know, grandparents, you know, God rest my grandparents. So they're dying and we are going to be the old fashioned bunch. We are going to be the ones that's going to have to tell the stories that happened, you know, way back in Yazoo City, Mississippi. I'm giving this example. That's where my, my grandmother's from. But we're going to have to talk about how the riots happened, how we used to be rich and we own blocks and we own uh, different businesses and we invented this and invented that. We are going to have to instill that into the generation so the legacy legacy can continue and new legacies can form yes ma'am. So that's our job yes ma'am indeed so i just can't say thank you enough uh thank you for sharing your wisdom your insight sharing your jury pieces look ladies y'all see all that jury back there there's so much more to go <laughs> so look reach out to Letitia, get you some jury get fabulous you know <laughs> look i have, like i said i have several a lot of pieces <laughs> and I'm not ashamed. I love them. I try and to that's wear okay. Something. That's okay. You can shop good. I always say if I don't have honey, you go go shop with somebody else. One of us. Just keep keep it in the family, keep it in rotation. That's right. And you know, if I had a business, I'm sure someone would, you know, support me as well. So and I I'm gonna have a business, but I have this platform to help highlight others. And so we're still helping keeping the information circulating as well. So thank you. You do so an much. awesome job. And I really <laughs> thank you guys for even thinking of me um, to come on to give me um, this time frame. I really, truly appreciate you guys. Um, and I just, I, I pray nothing but success, more success, because you already are having success, but more success in the coming years. Well, thank you. And same to you. So any shout outs you would like to give before we wrap this up? Oh, yeah. My, I'll shout out to my family uh, watching in the living room. <laughs> Trey, Kayla, and KJ. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. But and shout out also to all of my VIPs and my customers that uh, truly support me. I truly appreciate you guys. And it's not all about just buying the jewelry, but thank you for sharing my life, sharing my information, referring um, customers, or even just stopping by and looking at the live and liking or saying anything thank you so much for the continued support and you know another way we can support black businesses even if you can't buy something like i post a lot of pictures so if you have something post or share the picture you know look let me tell you something and then we like i like this movie called mean girl so i always try to wear something pink on wednesday mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> but I'm not a mean girl, y'all. Not not today. But you know. no. no. <laughs> so now I gotta dig out something pink for tomorrow. Well, yeah, tomorrow. Gotta yeah, tomorrow. <laughs> so oh my goodness, thank you so very much. Um, please check out Letitia's jury, be a customer. Word of mouth goes a long way. Today is Kwanzaa day four. The principal is Ujama. Cooperative economics, hashtag buy black. Let's support all of these black owned businesses. Let's buy back the block, the proverbial block, you know, or go mm -hmm. buy whole block, whatever you, whatever <laughs> in your spirit. <laughs> I want to say thank you to everyone and thank you so very much, Letitia, for joining us. Oh, and by the way, tell your baby if she can come up with a vegan cookie recipe, holler at me. <laughs> she got you. She got you. I will. I will do. <laughs> All right, so thank you everyone for watching. Um, Community Conversations will be back January 2nd, so stay tuned um, and have a great night, everybody. Bye. All right, so I stopped the live feed. I'm going to stop recording. Oh, I was going to say have a good night, everyone. Oh.